Well, kids learn from adults, especially from their parents. So when we have the opportunity, it's important to expose them to all kinds of cultures, people, beliefs, so they can be well-rounded, accepting adults. That is the hope. Hispanic Heritage Month is one of those opportunities, and one of the best ways to engage with children is reading. And Brianna Bowles is here now with some book suggestions, courtesy of ClickOrlando.com. Yes, we've got some good ones, Bridget. Hispanic Heritage Month runs through October 15th, so there's plenty of time to choose one a few or even all of the children's books from our list. Now the first one we'll suggest is Mango, Abuela, and Me. Me is Abuela, which is Spanish for grandmother, has left her sunny house with parrots and palm trees to live with Mia and her parents in the city. The night she arrives, Mia tries to share her favorite book with Abuela before they go to sleep and discovers that Abuela actually can't read the words inside. So while they cook, Mia helps Abuela learn English and Mia learns some Spanish too. Next we have Imagine. When he was young, author Juan Felipe Herrera picked chamomile flowers and left tadpoles, let him swim across his hands in a creek. He also learned to say goodbye to his friends each time his family moved to a new town. When he grew up, he became the United States Poet Laureate and read his poems aloud on the steps of the Library of Congress. If he could do all of that, imagine, what could you do? Next, we have My Poppy Has a Motorcycle. When Daisy Ramona zooms around her neighborhood with her poppy on his motorcycle, she sees the people and places she's always known. She also sees a community that is rapidly changing around her. But as the sun sets purple, blue, gold behind Daisy Ramona and her poppy, she knows that the love she feels will always be there. Next up, we have a birthday basket for Tia. Tia, if you didn't know, is Spanish for aunt, and today is her birthday. Cecilia wants to surprise her great aunt with a very special present, but what could it be? Well, with the help of her cat, Chica, Cecilia plants the perfect surprise, and Tia has a very special surprise for Cecilia, too. The last book that we'll mention is Dona. Dona Flora is a giant lady who lives in a tiny village in the American Southwest. Popular with her neighbors, she lets the children use her flowers as trumpets and leftover tortillas as rafts. Floor loves to read too, and she can often be found reading aloud to children. One day, Floor sets off to find the source behind a big scary noise that's frightening her neighbors, but one thing leads to another, and her friends end up having to come to her rescue. Now, if you're a News 6 insider, you might have seen this web story in your inbox asking for your input on some favorite books. Our free insider membership allows for engagement. Along with contributing to the news, insiders receive exclusive opportunities and are eligible for exclusive insider contests and opportunities. So to join, because you know you want to, just head on over to clickorlando.com slash insider. 